Hi everyone, but the no channel of the is but fresh. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Today we will discuss the stress management and coping mechanism. But before we proceed, we would like to ask you about this. Isa ka ba sa mga nakakaranas ng mga condition na ito? Try to analyze yourself. First, have you experienced low energy? When and where? How about headaches? Upset stomach including diarrhea, constipation, and nausea. Ache pain and tense muscle. Chest pain and rapid heartbeat. Insomnia. Frequent colds and infection. Loss of sexual desire or inability. Sa walong nabanggit, ilan ang sayo? Try to analyze. Why? Kasi kung marami yan, baka isa ka sa nakakaranas ng stress. Hala, tara, simulan na natin ano ba ang stress. Naisip mo ba na isa ka ang bat, isa ka ng matanda, pero nagtataka ka. Bakit lagi nilang nababanggit mukha ka pang bata? Siguro, magaling kang mag-manage ng stress. Or, baka sa kabilang banda, ang bata-bata mo pa, pero bakit ganun? Mukha ka ng matanda. Oh no. Let's see, baka hindi maganda ang pagmamanage mo ng stress. So, ano ba to? Kanina pa natin binabanggit. Ano ba talaga ang stress? So, Let's proceed! Arat na! Stress can be defined as any type of change that causes physical, emotional, or psychological strain. Stress is your body response to anything that requires attention or action. It can refer to what you feel when you react to pressure, either from the outside world including your school, family, and friends, or from yourself. Wanting to fit in, wanting to do well in school. What are the usual cause of stress? First, being under lots of pressure. Second, facing big changes. Three, worrying about something. Next, not having much any control over the outcome or situation. Having responsibility that you're finding overwhelming. Next, not having enough work, activity, or change in your life. Or, and for the last one, time of uncertainty. So, those are the, um, some of the examples of causes of stress. There might be one big thing causing your stress, but stress can also be caused by a build-up small pressure. This might make it harder for you to identify what making you feel stressed or to explain it to other people. Sabi nga nila, walang malaki na nakakapuwi, mas nakakapuwi ang maliliit. Same with stress. So, why do certain things make me feel stress? Bakit nga ba? The amount of stress you feel in different situations may depend on many factors such as First, your perception of the situation. This might be connected to your past experience, your self-esteem, and how you thought processes work. For example, if you tend to interpret things positively or negatively. Next, the amount of stress you feel in different situations may depend on this following factor. First is how experienced you are at dealing with that particular type of pressure. Second, your emotional resilience to stressful situation. Next is the amount of other pressure on you at that time. And lastly, the amount of support you are receiving. I get stressed when things get out of my perspective. Too much work, thinking too far ahead. So what kind of situation can cause stress? So, stress can be caused by a variety of different common life events, many of which are difficult to avoid. For example, are first is personal. It can be illness or injury, pregnancy and becoming a parent, 
bereavement, long-term health problem, organizing a complicated event like a group holiday, and lastly is everyday tasks such as travel or household chores. It can also be caused by your friend and family. For example, is getting married or civil partner, going through a, a breakup or getting divorced, difficult relationship with parents, sibling, friends, or children, and lastly, being a career for a friend or relative who needs a lot of support. Moreover, it can cause by employment and studies such as losing your job, long-term unemployment, retiring, exam and deadlines, difficult issue at work, and starting a new job. It can also cause by your problem in housing. Housing problems such as poor living condition, lack of security, or homelessness. It can also cause by moving to a new house or problem with your neighbor. Ayan, yung mga CCTV neighbors natin. And, syempre, it can cause by lack of money. For example, as you worry about money or benefits, poverty, and debt. So, here is one of the examples. I never been more stressed in my life than the six months leading up to my wedding. Everyone keep asking me if I was happy and expecting me to excited all the time. But I just would not feel it. I ended up getting really ill. Good thing happen, bad thing happen may cause stress. And the only thing for you to manage that is what are the strategy you use for you to cope so there are two types of stress first is distress and the another one is you stress if you say distress it refers to a negative reaction of the body toward a given stressor it may cause problem in health alter the mood emotion and even affect the way you think on the other hand if the stress is more on the negative side you stress is refers to a positive and healthy response of the body from a stressor it product good effect to one world being it means you stress is more on a positive way so before we continue let's have this simple activity use smiley emoticons if you consider it as a source of your stress and sad emoticon if it caused by distress are you ready please type ready if you are ready first choosing a gift from a friend Ooh, what do you think If your answer is useless, yes, your answer is great because this one is more in a positive way. Next one, arguing with your partner. What do you think? This one is distress or eustress? If your answer is distress, your answer is correct. This one is more on the negative side. And this is one of the most stressful, right? Next one. Going to a new place to travel. Travel. What do you think? Distress or you stress? If your answer is you stress, you got it right. This one is more on a positive side having a newborn baby in the family what do you think you stress or distress if your answer is you stress you got it right having a newborn baby in a family is one of the best thing happen right and 
How about losing your money? Is this distress or you stress? If your answer is distress, you got it right. This is one of the most stressful things happen, most especially during pandemic. Getting a birthday surprise. Is it you stress or distress? If your answer is you stress, you get it right. Having a get up. Getting a birthday surprise is happy, but sometimes it's stressful because you are not familiar about what that what will happen next, right? Watching a Korean novella or Netflix. Distress or you stress? If your answer is you stress, you got it right. Stress while watching? This one is a relaxation, right? Yes, but somehow, guys, diba? Um, if you are watching a Korean novella or in Netflix, you feel what they want you to feel, right? And sometimes, after you watch that episode, if you feel sad, if what happened to the movie is sad, diba? You feel sad. But if the happenings in the movie is something happy, diba? you feel happy. So that's it. So this one is you stress. I hope you got it right. Now, you are expert to identify if the cause of your stress is you stress or distress. This time, we will focus what are the signs and symptoms of stress. Are you ready? If you're still watching, Please type ready. Okay, so let's move. One of the major causes is the emotional symptoms of stress including becoming easy agitated, frustrated, moody, feeling overwhelmed like you are losing control or need to take control. Next one is having difficulty relaxing and quieting your mind. Next is feeling bad about yourself. Your uh, self-esteem is being low, lonely, worthless, and depressed. And lastly, avoiding others, right? So these are the emotional symptoms of stress. Let's move to the next one. The physical symptoms of stress including low energy, headache, upset stomach, pain, chest pain, insomnia, cold, infection, loss of sexual desire, nervousness, dry mouth, and clenched jaw and grinding teeth. So, now, you know, this one are some of the physical symptoms of stress. Let's move to the next one. The cognitive symptoms of stress including constant worrying, Racing thought, forgetfulness, and disorientation, organization, inability to focus, poor judgment, being pessimistic, or seeing only the negative sides. Next is the behavioral symptoms of stress, including change in appetite, eating, not eating, or eating too much, procrastinating, avoiding responsibility, increased use of alcohol, drugs, cigarette, ex Inhibiting more nervous behavior such as nail biting and others. So here are the long-term effects of stress. First is mental health problem, cardiovascular problem, obesity, mental problem, sexual dysfunction, skin and hair problem, and lastly, gastrointestinal problem. Currently experiencing stress. The next question is how to cope with stress. Before we focus on that, let's proceed. What is coping mechanism? Coping mechanism or the strategy people often use in the face of stress and on trauma to help manage painful or difficult emotions. Coping mechanism can help people adjust to stressful events while helping them maintain their emotional well-being. There are two types of coping mechanism. The first is reactive coping mechanism 
This one is a reaction following the stressor. The next one is proactive coping. It aim to neutralize future stressor. What is general adaptation syndrome or GAS? It is usually easy to identify whether a person is stressed or not. Again, stress is a physical response of the body. Therefore, one may feel and experience different changes in health condition. The body change that occur from experience is called general adaptation syndrome or gas. And this one is according to Hansali and Sincero. There are There are three stages of stress. First is alarm, second is resistance, and the last one is exhaustion. According to Hanselli and Zancero, there are three phases of syndrome. Alarm stage. This is the stage when a person experiences the flight or fight feeling. A person body at this stage releases stress hormones such as adrenaline. It enables a person to do things he, she does not usually do. The second one is the resistance stage. This is the stage when body has already responded to the stressor. A person in this stage continuously experiences the stress, but the strong feeling is less than the previous stage. And the last stage is what we call exhaustion stage. This is the stage when a person slowly loses does energy to manage the stress. This is also referred to as the gate toward burnout or stress overload. Okay, let's put gas into a scenario. Are you ready? If you are still watching, please type ready in, your, in our comment box. So, here is the scenario. The wood street in a community was caught in fire. All houses were burned. First stage, alarm stage. When the fire broke, may feel very alarmed. Is her energy suddenly raised up? He, she begin to carry heavy object in the house toward outside. The next one is resistance stage. The person was able to escape safely from the burning house, but still felt much stress because he or she still thought about the important things he or she forgot to see inside the house. And lastly is the exhaustion stage. When the fire was killed, the person was not able to move on. He, she experienced sadness and lose to feel health problem. Fire. In addition, the following medical problem concerned are linked with negative stress or distress. Some are cardiovascular problem, gastrointestinal problem, headache and migraine, muscle spasm and cramps, anxiety, jaw problem, allergies, cancer, back pain, asthma, kidney disease, sexual dysfunction, and infertility. Stress can be moved toward anxiety and depression. And that is the reason why it's very important for each one of us to know how to manage and cope with stress. Another coping mechanism that we have is proactive coping mechanism. Proactive focus on the future stressor. Example is, you don't have budget, so you are thinking how to get a budget. You will um, look for a job, and once you already have a job, you will try to, dis to separate all the expenses that you have from savings, budget, doing some budgeting, investment, and many more. Coping is general categorized into four categories, which are First, are you problem focused? This which address the problem causing the distress. Example of this style include active coping, planning, restraint coping, and suppression of competing activities. 
The second one is emotion focus, which aims to reduce the negative emotion associated with the problem. Example of this style include positive refraining, acceptance, turning to religion, and humor. The third one is meaning focus, in which an individual uses cognitive strategy to derive and manage the meaning of the situation. And lastly, the social coping, support seeking, in which an individual reduces stress by seeking emotional or important instrumental support from their community. Ngayon, alam na natin ano ba ang stress. Ano ba ang mga nagkukos ng stress? At oo, alam ko na rin may dalawang klase ng pag sa stress. Pero ang tanong, ano ba ang dapat kong gawin? What should I do if I experience stressful scenario or happiness in my life? First, do some exercise. Relaxing, stretching. Just 10 to 5 minutes, it's a big help. Next one, relax your muscle. Massage, tai chi, therapy. Lahat yan makakatulong sa'yo. Deep breathing. Punta ka sa isang silid. Mas maganda kung may magandang musika. Pikit ang mata, huminga ng malalim, isipin mo na nasa isang magandang lugar ka. And, do the breathing exercise. Try to do it 10 to, 5, 10 to 15 minutes and it's a big help. Next one, syempre, eat well. Mahalaga ang kumain na masasustansyang pagkain, pero tandaan, should be on moderation. Ang labis ay pwede rin naman mag sa hindi magandang karamdaman tulad ng eating disorder. Next one, slow down. Huwag mo pressure ang sarili mo. Tandaan mo, hindi ka perfecto at walang taong perfecto. Try to slow down some of the things na happening in your li- that happening in your life. Kung kailangan mo mag-report sa work ng 8 o'clock, Kumising ka ng 6. Prepare yourself para at least before 8 o'clock, meron kang oras para mag-relax bago magsibula ng trabaho. So, try to slow it down. Next one, take a break. Hindi masama ang libangin ng sarili sa oras na nai-stress ka. Ito ay mahalaga para makapag-isip ka kung ano ba ang dapat mong gawin. Tandaan, Take a breath, break, and it will help you to boost your imagination. Take a break, and it will help you to lessen the stress. Next one, make time for your hobby. Mahilig ka sigurong manood, magbasa, sa musika, at iba pa. Try mo. Makakababaw siya ng stressor mo. Talk about your problem. You can ask your parents, your friends, your relatives. Tandaan, basta mapagkakatiwalaan mo. Maganda rin ito na para mailabas mo kung ano man yung mga sama ng loob mo nang mabawasan ang iyong mga emotional stress. And next, go easy on yourself. Huwag mong pahirapan ang sarili mo. Yes, sometimes we are proactive in facing the stressful events in our life. Yung pwede mo namang gawin ngayon, pilit mong dinodoble, ba? So, try to check. Ano ba talaga ang kaya mo lang sa araw na ito? Don't push yourself into a limit. And, next one, eliminate your triggers. Kung ano yung nagkukos sa'yo ng stress, bawasan mo. Kung feeling mo, halimbawa, directing na ang sahod mo at hindi yun sapat, try to check. Baka yung hobby mo ang solusyon. Baka magaling kang magluto at pwede magbigay sa'yo ng extra income. It will help you. In that, that case, it will, in that case, malilimit mo din yung mga triggers mo. Why? Nagbawas ka na ng stressor, nagkaroon ka pa ng extra income, de ba? And, syempre, don't forget to pray. Iba pa rin kapag kasama mo si God sa lahat ng ginagawa mo. 
So remember that positive change should start in you. Give a sense of humor to make things light. Reframe your outlook. Reframing is changing your outlook in order to see a situation in a more positive way. What you think and feel is what you become. You need to remember that. That's all for today. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. See you next time.